Heavens are telling the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork day to day, pause for speech, and night to night declares knowledge, ladies and gentlemen. I happily welcome all of you aboard yet another very important part of our program, ladies and gentlemen. This is the fourth preliminary set in the 2020 competition, and the personalities who are going to compete for honors are ready for action. Very quickly, I do not think that I have to waste anybody's time. It is time for them to introduce themselves. The contestants will introduce themselves. My name is Philip Labi, Accra. Richmond Amwa, a native of Abuna Abudom in the Central Region. Nicholas Nemwe, a native of Ombo in the Nadoli Kaleo district of the Upper West Region, and a staff outpatient department, Bole District Hospital, and Aluminos. Um, John Awuni, formerly of Kumasi, now an Accra New Town. John, yes. John, I'm informed you're laughing this afternoon. John, you're all welcome. Philip, Richborn, Lickner, John, all of you are welcome to this program, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it is the fourth in a preliminary pro process, you know, towards the 2020 tra championship. Um, but um, uh, what's his name? Richmond Amwa. Hmm? Um, you have any connection with our friend? What's his name? Um, Yamwa. Yamwa. You have any connection with Yamwa? Yes. <laughs> Put your hands together for these contestants. <laughs> the fourth preliminary set to the 2020 competition. This Sunday, the 15th day of March 2020, ladies and gentlemen, very quickly. Um, you're all conversant with the rules. So very quickly, round one, question one. Now listen. Now, cereals. 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 Spelt S I R I U S. It is the highest, the brightest star in the night sky. Now, with a visual apparent magnitude of minus 1.46. Now, it is almost twice as bright as Canopus. Canopus, which is the next brightest star. Now, the name Sirius is derived from the ancient Greek Sirios. Sirios. S-E-I-R-I-O-S, which means glowing or scorcher. A scorcher. Huh? The thing that glows or scorches. Now, what is the other name for the star called Sirius? Philip, the brightest star. There is another name for it. The stars. But one of them is the brightest of them all, amongst them all. Richmond. Yes, uh, Nicholas. Venus. It's not Venus, John. Venus. V Venus. Yes. Oh, no, not Venus. No idea. Venus. No John, idea. it's no called idea. Dog Star. Dog Star. Now, you understand? Dog Star. Now, um, for three points, you see, a meter, a meter is a metric measurement of unit of length which serves as the base SI unit of length. Now, what is an U-meter? It's an U-meter. U-meter. No, no, not you, Richmond. Be careful. <laughs> because it is Philip's turn. <laughs> you have to be careful. What in this world of knowledge is an U-meter? O-O-M-E-T-E-R. What is an U-meter? Philip.
Umita. Yes, which one you wanted to do something about this? Is a, a, a device used to measure the diameter of an egg. It is correct. It's correct. <laughs> Put your hands together and get which one. Now, the which one, so you earn uh, one point, you know, by the rules. An instrument which is used to measure eggs, in particular bird eggs. Of course, all eggs come from birds. <laughs> 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 now, but listen to this one for three points, uh, uh, Richmond. Now, Richmond, listen, sports, sporting activity. It is an activity or an act involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another or others for entertainment. Now, you give me one sport in which... The left hand. Polo. Oh, la la. It's correct. Three points. <laughs> now you should have allowed me to finish anyway. <laughs> How, what if I change the, the caliber of the question? Uh, the sport in which one left handed are not allowed to play. To play. Yeah? Yes, so that a personality, a fabulous personality like Messi would have been perfectly disqualified. <laughs> you understand? Polo is one of them. Of course, we have field hockey and we have a J, the J ally. Now for three points, Nicholas. Now you give me the name of the tallest grass in the world. Bamboo. Bamboo. It's correct, thank you. Bamboo, applause. Applause. Honestly, I have a duty to applause. Bamboo is the tallest grass, you understand? So now we can easily identify, you know, the fact that Bamboo is grass, yeah? Bamboo, which you see, is, bra is, is grass and the tallest. Yeah? In the grass family. Now, for three points, is it um, uh, John? John, now, um, the United Arab Emirates on the Persian Gulf is made up of Abu Dhabi among other Emirates. Now, you provide the name of any other Emirates that you know. You understand? Any other emirate you know? Qatar. Sorry? Qatar. Qatar is, is not a, a part of this emirate family. Yes. Saudi Arabia. I disagree. Uh, Richmond. Kuwait. Nicholas. Bahrain. Oh, none of them. I mean, they all can speak about their accents here in this scheme of things. Eh? Ajman. Eh? Sharjan. Dubai. Mm -hmm. Fujairan. Ras al Khaima. And Um al Kowain. You understand? Kowain is spelled Q U W A I N. But you go, go and search. You understand? And, and get the details. Go and search. Now, a regular polygon has equal interior angles and equal sides. And I think that this is conspicuous knowledge in the world of mathematics. Now, what is a figure with seven sides? Who's, co who's coming here? Don. A figure with seven sides. Heptagon. What? Sorry? Heptagon. 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 Now, um, very quickly for three points, uh, Philip. Is it Philip? Now, you see, in financial accounting, an asset is an economic resource. Anything tangible or intangible that can be owned or controlled to produce value and that is how to have positive economic value is considered an asset. Now, what is the business term for assets which can be immediately turned? Liquid it, assets. But you know how it is going to turn? Yeah. Which can be turned into stone? No, turn into <laughs> cash. <laughs> Put your hands together for him. <laughs> which can be turned into cash is liquid assets. Now, uh, Richmond. The United Kingdom is made up of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Which countries? You understand? Sometimes we need to straighten out some of these facts, you know, for, for, the, 
for the benefit of those who are watching us, or those who listen to us. You know, the United Kingdom is made up of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. But what countries make up Great Britain? You understand? Sometimes you need... Which countries, you understand, make up Great Britain? United Kingdom is there, but Great Britain. England. Uh, England, Canada. Australia. But this is an incongruous, you know, combination, <laughs> you know, <laughs> a ridiculous combination of countries, you know, to, to form Great Britain. Because that is not what Great Britain is made up of. Uh, Nicholas, Nimier. Scotland, Wales and England. Excellent! Three points! So, one point. <laughs> of course, um, yes, in my exuberance, in, in, in as much as he sought clearly to correct the position uh, scandalized, you know, by Richmond. <laughs> I was inclined to even giving him three points. But of course, it, it's only one point. Nicholas, but uh, very quickly, I think that we'll do this one to bring the program to an end as far as the first one is concerned. Listen to this one. The collective name of lions is a pride of lions. I'm going to give you a list of animals and you should give me their collective names. Let's end here. Listen. When you find a community of whales, how would you call them? Whales. 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 W-H-A-L-E-L. The animals called whales. Show. Show of whales. A show. No, they are not called a show. Whales. Whales. Yes, if you build that, done. A laughter of wheels. Uh, do they laugh? Mm -hmm. huh? uh -uh. Are they prone to laughter? Head of wheels. No, they're not head. Richmond. Wheels. Nicholas. That's That's oh, you start. They're at school. They go to school. <laughs> you understand? They like education. They go to school. Whales go to school. But when you meet bats, bats, you understand? You go to you know, a location like, um, what is the place? Uh, Ted Seven. Ted Seven. Mm. And you find a huge, I nearly mentioned, <laughs> a huge assembly of bats. How would you call them? Is it John? Uh, Nico. Yeah. Nico, you have come from Bole District and so, Bole District Hospital. Yes. Bats. B A T S. Family of bats. Uh, family. Because you, you see them in, in huge numbers, you know. It's, it's a heap of bats. Heap? Yes. You think they're a heap? The, yes. Colo colony of bats. A colony of bats! <laughs> a colony of bats! Or a cloud of bats. I think that we'll come back to this particular schedule in the next round of the competition. Uh, but suffice to say that we've tackled a very exciting round. Round one. And I am hopeful that when we come back to you for the production of the remaining round, it will be equally excited. There will be equal excitement, ladies and gentlemen. End of round one. At the end of the first round, John Awini from Accra Newtown has three points. <laughs> Nicholas Nirie from Bole District Hospital, Bole, has four points. <laughs> Richmond Amwa from Agona Abodom also has four points. <laughs> Philip Labi, Accra, four points. Yes, thank you very much, Philip Lobby. Um, Preeminent at, at this stage of the competition. Uh, very quickly, ladies and gentlemen, I would want to inform you that this is the fourth in the preliminary set 2020 competition. Round two, question one. And uh, is it Nicholas? Uh, Philip. Philip, you are still there. Now, Philip, we're, we're dealing with a collective, you know, nouns. Now, if we've been able to identify, you know, the fact that 
a community of whales, you know, is described as a school, how would you call a group of camels? Head. Camel. Head. A head. Head of camels. A head? No, they are not a head. They are not a head. A T R D. No. Second chance. Yes, Richmond. Camels. Camels. So sometimes you must go back to identify the manner in which they conduct themselves, the manner in which they're used, and so on and so forth. And that is how you'll be able to identify your collective names. Nicholas! Colony. Colony of camels. Do you see them in the colonies somewhere? You see, you can find bats in a colony. A caravan. Oh, la la. Honestly, uh, maybe we should, you know, um, be able to inject that particular word into the English dictionary. Um, oh, yes, a caravan. It's interesting. Philip, you started this you one. Started. Because it is close. It is a train. You understand? A train. A train of camels. A train of camels. Uh, Philip, again, maybe the final one here. How would you call locusts if they're found together in a group? Locusts. Locusts. So you go back and identify locusts, see where you can put them. L O C U S T S. Locusts. Bell out. Yes, Redmond. Nicholas. A plague of locusts. A plague of locusts. <laughs> A plague of, of locusts. But how, how do you think, you know, this name uh, evolved? How, why do you think they're a plague? Why do you think? They move in masses. Oh, of course. And then they are always attacking. And they attack. Yeah, yeah, they cause yeah. havoc and yes. destruction. You know, the plague, for example, that happened, you know, in the time of the Moses. of Moses and so on. You see, mm -hmm. locusts. They were in action. Now, for three points, um, is it Nicholas? Nicholas. Now you rewrite these letters to form, uh, one intelligible word you understand now this word huh, is spelt in that ridiculous form o o r s u p huh? in its convoluted shape it is o o r s u p o s u p you now for this word uh, let me give you a clue. Okay. <laughs> the word means. Oh, you you seen it? No, no, no. The word no. means having minute interstices. Interstices, sorry. Interstices, minute interstices. So sometimes you know it, it's it's double barrel because you need to identify what interstices. Interstices. What are intestices? Minute intestices. O O R S U P done. No idea. Yes, uh, Philip. No idea. You don't have an idea? No. And uh, finally, Richmond. O O R S U P. Having minute intestices, it is. It is. <laughs> you, <laughs> you want the quiz master's answer for your point. You know, it is poros. Poros. Huh? Poros. Interstices. Minute interstices. Now listen to this one. This one is E E E R M T X. X. X Y Z. X. E E E three E's R M T X. Now, this word means very great, great, exceptional, extreme, extreme. Applause, <laughs> applause. Extreme is correct. Thank you very much. Now, um, uh, whose turn is it? John. Is it John? Now, John. Let, let's do um, 
a little bit of, of chemistry over here. Now, the periodic table is a table of the chemical elements in which the elements are arranged by order of atomic number that the periodic properties of the elements are made clear. Now, I'll mention a chemical symbol, and you would give me the full name of that chemical. You understand? The symbol, and you deliver the full name. Huh? Now, this one is AG, Attorney General. <laughs> Adam. Capital A and small g. It's agon. No, it's not agon. Fred. A G. Silver. Silver. Is the answer. <laughs> Silver is the answer. Now this one is C O. C O. Capital C. Cobalt. Cobalt is correct. <laughs> and then this one. Now, happily, I think that we, you know, um, resided in that particular place uh, when we conducted the quiz last week. S-I. What is it? Silicon. <laughs> it is correct. Very good. We'll tell you tomorrow to know that this is Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. <laughs> this is Silicon Valley. <laughs> Silicon, it says I. Now, the final one. Let, let's distribute this one. Nicholas, you've not had your turn. You, let's see how you can manage this particular exercise. M-N. Manganese. Manganese. <laughs> Applause for the conductor. Manganese. Now, still in the area of science, you see, a unit is a standard quality in terms of which other quantities may be expressed. You understand? So, for example, when I mention some derived units of you know, the physical quantities, for example, if I say frequency, frequency, huh? Then the standard of, of measurement would be Hertz. H E R T Z. H E R T Z. Frequency is related to Hertz. Now, and so um, I would declare the physical quantity and you would give me the standard quality. Huh? You understand? Or the manner in which it is measured hmm? or weight. Energy. Who starts this one? John. John. Jules. Jules is correct. It is measured in Jules. Fox. Philip. Fox. F O R S. Newton. F R C. Newton. Newton is correct. Thank you. And to your turn, the power. Power. Electric power. Watts. Watts is correct. Now. I, I, I think that I reduced you know, the, the level of difficulty when I mentioned electric. <laughs> huh? Because power could refer to anything. But it is power, nevertheless. It's still power. Watts. Uh, pressure. Pascal. Sorry? Pascal. Pascal is correct. Pascal is correct. Do you by any chance have any acquaintance with science? Well, I read general arts. You, uh, but oh. then I did nursing school. <laughs> Oh, oh, my, oh, yes, there, there could be some Pascal in your nursing work. <laughs> <laughs> in your nursing work. Um, Don, you also you had your, your share here. Yes. Now listen to this. How would you term a high energy state of matter different from solid, different from liquid or gas, in which atomic, nuclear, and nuclear, nuclear, and the electrons orbiting them Separate from each other. It is a highly technical thing, honestly. Us. It is a very highly, unless you are specially or particularly accustomed to these specific the, technical the words. Again. High energy state of matter, which is different from solid, from liquid or gas. Aeons. It's not like aeons. Yes, right one. So is it protons? No, it's not protons. Uh, 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 Nicholas. Uh, nuclear fusion. Don't start it. Yes, I it, it is plasma. Uh, go, go and find out. <laughs> but very quickly, Don, what is black arts? Witchcraft. Black arts. Witchcraft. Witchcraft! Three points. 
which was three points. Now, um, uh, for three points, uh, Philip, Philip, the Central African Republic is, and it is an indubitable fact, it's a landlocked country in Africa. It is located in the area of North Central Africa. Now, which country is located in the northeastern border of the Central African Republic? Somalia. No, it is not Somalia. Come again. Located in the northeastern border of the Central African Republic. Niger. No. Yes. Um, Red one. Uganda. It is not Uganda. Nicholas. Burundi. No. Don. Sudan. Disaster. Oh, it is correct. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You took the wind from my sail, honestly. I wanted to end with disaster. You understand? Know, uh, now, you see, so, John, now that you've answered this question, um, another geographical question, uh, if this is a happy hunting ground for you. John, listen with a cop here. Which country can we find to the western border of the Central African Republic? It's Niger. Look! The western border of the Central African Republic. Libya. No, your turn, Philip. Sudan. No, your turn. Somalia. No, your turn. Burundi. Oh, disaster, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's Cameroon. Cameroon. Now, you tell me whether it is true or false. John start the crusade. Hydrogen has far more orderly spectrum than other elements. True or false? True. It's correct. Thank you very much. Applause. Thank you very much. Flip. An atom is what it is because of the number of neutrons. True or false? It's true. It is false. It is not because of the number of neutrons. Now, for three points, Richmond, the mass of an electron is greater than that of a protein. True or false? They're true. It is false. Yeah, and I think you did conjecture work. <laughs> Nicholas, we are surrounded by radioactivity. True or false? It's true. It is true indeed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Applause. <laughs> John, you started this one. Now listen, for three points, Robert Mugabe, he became Prime Minister of Zimbabwe in 1980 when his ZANU PF party won the elections following the end of white minority rule. You recollect that this man subsequently became the president of Zimbabwe until he resigned in 2017. Now, Robert Mugabe, as we, you know, was president. When did Robert Mugabe become president of Zimbabwe? Which year? 1988. Look, second chance. 1987. That is correct. <laughs> 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 I surmise you, you were doing some calculations, you know. You go back 40 years and so on. Huh? Now, the very final question in this round, Zimbabwe. It had other names until it got its current name. Now, in 1898, how was Zimbabwe? Rhodesia. Because, sorry? Rhodesia. No, no. Second chance. In 1890, you see, we're dealing with specific issues. I'm making reference here to 1898. In 1898, how was Zimbabwe known? Zimbabwe. Yeah? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, of course you. Yes, you, you are in, in trouble, uh, Nicholas. Southern Rhodesia. Southern Rhodesia. <laughs> Southern Rhodesia, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think this is an appropriate stage for us to draw the curtain on this round of the competition, ladies and gentlemen. I must remind you about the fact that this is the fourth in the series. We're talking here about the preliminaries in the 2020 competition. And these four gentlemen are going to compete for honors. Pass one to the rules and regulations which guide, you know, the 
this effort. Two of their number would gain entry into the next round of the competition. We're talking here about the quarter final. Ladies and gentlemen, end of round one. Two of two. round two. <laughs> At the end of the second round, Richard Amua has 10 points. <laughs> Philip Labi has 11 points. John Awuni has 16 points. <laughs> Nicholas Niwe now leads with 18 points. Um, yes, uh, Nicholas Niwe, I think, yes, he's toppled Philip. Yes, um, uh, after the end of the second round of the competition, but we're there tackling the third and final round. Now, this round is normally what I call the round of decisions, the round of death. So um, whether Nicholas will be able to maintain you know, this prestigious enclave, which he has created for himself at this juncture of the exercise uh, uh, time, would, would settle it out. Let, let's see what happens in this very final department of the process. Round three, question one. Um, Nicholas, you would have to answer this one. You see, in the history of the world, the name Osama bin Laden cannot be left out. You understand? When we come to write the history of the world, the name Osama bin Laden cannot be left out. In 1968, Osama bin Laden's father, he died in a plane crash. When Osama was 11 years old, who was Osama bin Laden's father? Mohammed bin Laden. Oh, put your hands together for him. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> Mohammed Awad bin Laden. Mohammed Awad, you understand? In as much as you provided the Mohammed name, I think that that was enough to attract the quiz masters sympathy and that is why i would give you all the three points muhammad award bin laden but you see now osama's oldest brother also died in a plane crash in 1988 who was this brother of osama bin laden who died pass it on yes john is the same muhammad award bin laden Mo Oh, Muhammad Awad was his father. He has died and is gone. Another death has occurred. You think he died twice? Not the same name, but different. Oh, the same name. No, no, they're, they're different names. Yes, Philip. Osman bin Laden. Osama. No, no, Osman. Oh, but his brother was called Osman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you understand? His oldest brother. Abakal. Sorry? Abakal. Abakal what? Bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> Isaka Bin Laden will drop soon. Isaka <laughs> Bin Laden. Uh, Nicholas. Yes, what was, what was the, 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 the eldest brother? Yeah. Saud Bin Laden. Saud. It was Salem. Salem. Yeah? Salem. Salem, S A L E M. Salem bin Laden. Salem bin Laden. Now, um, who's there? Uh, John. John. Now, Zimbabwe, as we've indicated, in 1898 was called Southern Rhodesia. Now, in 1965, how was Zimbabwe known? Ceylon. 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 Oh, Ceylon. Ceylon, yes. Oh, no. Northern Rhodesia. No. Philip. Rhodesia. Rhodesia, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, for three points, uh, is it Philip again? Yes. Philip. Now, now, the motto of the Republic of Ghana, as you are cognizant, is what? What is it? Freedom and justice. Yeah. But what is the motto of Zimbabwe? Today, Zimbabwe is on the floor. What? U unity and peace. You, you have an idea. 
We got peace and unity. Sorry? Peace and unity. Oh, the reverse. Yeah, the reverse. <laughs> uh, Richmond, you think there should be, you know, some rearrangement mm -hmm. in unity and what peace and so on? Otherwise, what is it? Nicholas! Unity and justice. And um, John! Unity and progress. Unity and progress. Yes, but yeah, you are not able to make progress. Uh, it's unity, freedom, work. Unity, freedom. Three separate, distinct, very important, monumental words. Unity, freedom, work. Period. Now, you see, the national anthem of Ghana, God bless her homeland Ghana, as compoched, you know, by Felix Beho, you understand? The lyrics of the national anthem of, of Zimbabwe was written by Professor Solomon Muchwairo and composed by Fred Tangundiga. Now, it is in the Shona language. Simujai Muriza Wedu We Zimbabwe. You understand? Is this Shona language. expression eh, of the anthem? What is the English translation of the Zimbabwean anthem? Uh, hmm? uh, Felix Beho, but he provided the the, the instrumental, words. not so, yes. And then the lyrics provided somewhere else. But you see, when you are dealing with Zimbabwe, it is Simujai Muriza Wedu We Zimbabwe. Huh? That is Shona. What is it in English? Peace. Okay. <laughs> God bless our homeland Zimbabwe. Okay, la. God bless our homeland Zimbabwe. Well, arise, uh, all sons and daughters of Zimbabwe. Of, of Zimbabwe. What do you think, Philip? He started. He started. Oh, I started. oh and you wanted to go again. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed be the land of Zimbabwe. Blessed be the land of Zimbabwe. Now, I think we can end with, with this particular uh, column. Listen. Now, now, talking about books, who do you think wrote the book Efuru? Efuru? I think it's Nigerian. Efuru. E F U R U. Philip. Efuru. Professor Wole Soniki. Soinka or Soniki? So Soinka. <laughs> No, so Inka is absent here. Senior Achibi. Richmond. Efuru. Is it Buchi Mechita? No. Nicholas. Chinu Achibi. Don. Cyprian Nicholas. No. Flora in Wapa. Flora in Wapa. Now, this one is a grain of wheat. A grain of wheat. Is it, Philip? A grain of wheat. Who wrote it? Grain of wheat. You can see ciphering. Ah, Cyprian Equenzi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> Have you see how it, it was mangled in your brain? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a red one. What is Yanka? What is Yanka? Yeah. No, a grain of wheat. Uh, Nicholas. Ngugi Watiyongo. Ngugi Watiyongo. Emoji working your own goal. Thank you. Huh? A grain of wheat in Guji was young goal. Now, this one is the narrow path. Nicholas, you should do this one again. The narrow path. Ngugi was young Oh, you think he'll be there all the time for you? <laughs> <laughs> eh? He has more, some other work to do. He's left. Cyprian Equency. Sorry? Cyprian Equency. Cyprian. Or Cyprian Equency. Oh, whether Cyprian or Cyprian. Both of them. <laughs> uh, Philip. 
Chinue Achibe. The narrow path. Narrow path. I think you're following the narrow path. <laughs> yes, Vic, Richmond. Wolo Shinke. Wolo Shinke. Yeah. No, it was written by Francis Salome. Francis Salome. Now, what about this one? Girls at War. Last question in this competition. Girls at War. It is a collection of short stories. Who wrote Girls at War? No, not Nguji Wationgo. Second chance, second running out. We are getting to the end of the competition. Nicholas Ningwe. Bailed out. John Awini. Chinua Achebe. Chinua Achebe. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, with this Chinua Achebe declaration, this is the end of the competition. We hand you over to my right hand man for a declaration of the final scores. End of the competition. At the end of the final round of today's program, Richmond Amwa from Agona Abonom had 10 points. <laughs> Philip Labi from Accra had 12 points. <laughs> John Awuni from Accra Newtown had 17 points. <laughs> Nicholas Ninwe from Bolly District Hospital, Bolly. Topped with 22 points. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, once again, and in consonance with the practice, in the World General Agenda, I would invite all of you to put your hands together and beat the champion of this competition, the fourth in the preliminary sect in the 2020 competition. This individual from Bali District Hospital in Bali. Welcome, Nicholas Nenye. Thank you. And of course, um, um, together with. Um, um, Philip, L L John, uh, Winnie, yes. But both of them are qualified for the next stage of the competition. Welcome all of them once more, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we come to the end of the whole Kabudu. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon all of you. But ladies and gentlemen, whilst we confront the deadly coronavirus, like this scandalous, this devastating, intimidating, and traumatizing disease, Ladies and gentlemen, let's be prayerful. I would recommend that in Britain, we should rather clap our hands in prayer, in prayer like manner, as the Indians would do in Britain, ladies and gentlemen. On this note, and until the same time next week when we bring you questions from our colleagues of zoology, and on behalf of my producer, Francis S. Mensah, Kingsley Abwaji, Collins Mensah, Samuel Logo, Kelsa, Rivera, Serena Falka, Victor Nyagi, Greg Mingo, Chris Latarin Kra, David Nano, James Adololo, Candela, look at him. This is Rino Kuzma. Ghana Ferry, everyone asking you here. And those of you out there, yes, yes. it is what, 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 what? What do you want?